Hello students, this is part 3 of demand for labor in which we will talk about production function and marginal product of labor. So in this video we will see that how the competitive firm decides how much labor to hire. A competitive firm decides how much labor to hire, how much labor to hire, how much labor to hire, how much labor to hire. Karna hai. In the first column you can see it is denoted by labor. It denotes number of workers. Okay. It denotes number of workers. In the second column you can see output. It denotes quantity of apples the workers harvest each week okay so let's now just focus on these two columns first column denotes the number of workers and the second column output denotes quantity of apples the workers harvest each week okay these two columns describe the firm's ability to produce now as you can see this is a production function what is production function the production function is the relationship between the inputs into the production in our case what is the input input is a labor labor means apple pickers and the output from production what is output that is apples so if I production function ki baat karun, ek jo production function hota hai, wo relationship batata hai kis kis ke beech mein, input ke beech mein, and output ok humare case mein input kya hai in our case input is labor labor means apple picker ok and what is the output output is apples right so as you can see on the vertical axis we have taken quantity of apples that means this is quantity of output ok and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity of apple pickers so this is quantity of input right so production function is describing the relationship between the output and the input between the input and output okay now let's see that if the firm hires one worker if the firm hires one worker then that worker will pick 100 bushels of apples per week then that worker will pick 100 bushels of apples per week in the same manner if the firm hires two workers then those two workers together will pick 180 bushels of apples per week if the firm hires three workers then th then those three workers together will pick 240 bushels of apples per week if the firm hires four workers then those four workers together will pick 280 bushels of apples per week if the firm hires five workers then those five workers together will pick 300 bushels of apples per week you will get these uh, combinations okay when you will plot them you will get these combinations and when you will join these combinations what you will get the production function clear So we have just plotted these combinations 0 worker, 0 bushels, 1 worker, 100 bushels, 2 worker, 180 bushels, 3 worker, 240 bushels, 4, 5. We have plotted these combinations in order to get production function. Okay. Now let's focus on this third column marginal product of labor, which is change in output upon change in labor. Okay. Change in output upon change in 
labor now uh, we can also calculate the change in labor change in labor 0 to 1 1 1 to 2 1 2 to 3 1 3 to 4 1 4 to 5 1 this is change in labor change in output 0 to 100 100 100 to 180 80 180 to 240 60 240 to 280 40 280 say 300 it is 20 okay now if i want to calculate marginal product of labor it is change in output upon change in labor so 100 upon 1 100 80 upon 1 80 60 upon 1 60 40 upon 1 40 20 upon 1 20 clear what is marginal product of labor marginal product of labor is the increase dekhi marginal ka matlab kya hota hai marginal ka matlab hota hai change okay so it is the increase in the amount of output from an additional unit of labor ki jab humne labor ki ek additional unit lagayi to usse output mein jitna increase aaya that is marginal product of labor jab hum keh rahe hain that marginal product of labor it is change in output upon change in labor to hum isko aise bolenge change in output due to change in labor okay when the firm increases the number of workers from 1 to 2 for example the amount of apples produced rises from 100 to 180 bushels therefore the marginal product of the second worker is 80 bushels वो ये कहना चाह रहा है कि जब आपने नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स को इंक्रीज किया वन से टू किया तो जो अमाउंट ऑफ एप्पल्स था प्रोड्यूस्ड वो इंक्रीज हो गया हंड्रेड से वन एटी बुशल्स तो सेकंड वर्कर का कितना कंट्रीब्यूशन था यहाँ पे अगर वो हम देखें तो सेकंड वर्कर का कंट्रीब्यूशन बना एट्टी बुशल्स का ये कहना चाह रहा है वो यहाँ पर दैट वेन वी इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स फ्रॉम वन टू टू then the output increased from 100 bushels to 180 bushels so what is the contribution of this second worker ye to two workers ka together hai ye jo 180 bushels hai ye two workers ka together hai but if i want to calculate the contribution of particularly second worker then it is 80 bushels number of apples produced by second worker 80 bushels और ये जो 180 bushels है ये total है it is a number of apples produced by by two workers ya fir isko main is tarike se bhi likh sakta hu by first and second worker together ठीक है और ये जो 80 बुशल्स था इट वाज नंबर ऑफ एप्पल्स प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय फर्स्ट वर्कर क्लियर इसको यहां पे हम लिखेंगे वर्कर बाय सेकंड ओके okay. 
notice that as the number of workers increases the marginal product of labor declines that is the production function that is the production process exhibits diminishing marginal product तो वो ये कह रहा है कि जैसे जैसे आप number of workers को increase करोगे जो marginal product of labor है वो लगातार decline होगा मतलब जो हमारा production process है वो show कर रहा है diminishing marginal product अगर आप देखें ध्यान से as we increase the worker from one to two even just a second हम zero से start करते हैं when we increase the worker from 0 to 1, marginal product is 100 bushels. When we increase the worker from 1 to 2, marginal product declines from 100 bushels to 80 bushels. As we increase the number of worker from 2 to 3, again the marginal product of labor declines from 80 bushels to 60 bushels. When we increase the number of workers from 3 to 4, the marginal product of labor declines from 60 bushels to 40 bushels. When we increase the number of worker from 4 to 5, the marginal product of labor declines from 40 bushels to 20 bushels. So, this is what that as the number of workers increases, the marginal product of labor declines. So, the production function shows diminishing, diminishing marginal product जो मतलब the contribution made by each additional worker is getting smaller कि अगर हम first worker का contribution देखें it was 100 bushel second worker का contribution देखें 80 bushel third worker का 60 bushel fourth worker का 40 bushel and fifth worker का 20 bushels. So, the contribution or made by each additional labor is continuously declining. At first, when only few workers are hired, they can pick the low hanging fruit. As the number of workers increases, additional workers have to climb higher up the ladders to find the apples to pick. Hence, as more and more workers are hired, each additional worker contribute less to the production of apples. So, ये उन्होंने एक explanation यहाँ पे आपको दी है कि that when few workers are hired, they can easily pick the low hanging fruit. As the number of worker increases, they the additional workers will have to climb higher up the ladders to find the apples to pick. And that is the reason as more and more workers are hired, each additional worker contributes less to the production of apples for this reason the production function becomes flatter as the number of worker rises so as you can see as the quantity of input that means the quantity of worker increases the production function gets flatter Reflecting the property of diminishing marginal product. So, you can see that the production function hai, it is uh, becoming flatter. Why? Because of the property of diminishing marginal product. And the property of diminishing marginal product is that as the number of worker increases, the contribution made by each additional worker is continuously declining. Okay? Thank you.